Hey there, everyone. Okay, in this video, we're going to take a look at Google Sheets and how to move some data around in it. It's going to look similar to the data we used in our lab uh, in Google Sheets. Uh, but we're going to learn how to manipulate it a little bit and then look back again at how to do some quick calculations. Same way we did them in the lab, but it's going to be looking at different um, different variables than we looked at in the lab. So you're watching the video. Awesome. Uh, we're going to be looking at the Google Sheet that's linked right here. Uh, if you want to open it, that's fine. If you just want to watch the video first and then open it, that's fine too. But the sheet is going to look like this. And it's going to look similar to what you looked at in your lab. You're going to notice you've got the location in the nurseries, uh, A through G or H. I forget how far down it goes. Lots of locations. And then you've got uh, in each of those locations, there's a box and the boxes have a certain number of eggs loaded in each one. And then they also have of those loaded into the box, how many uh, of those eggs hatched and had a baby turtle go out to sea. And then the next, uh, the next cell over is the uh, percent hatch rate. So the, the, the live hatch rate of that box. So 68 divided by 95 is about 71.6%. And then finally, if we have the data, which beach a box was collected from. Now you notice that one right there, that particular one, A1, the beach is blank. And the only reason that is, is because this place is run by volunteers and very often people forget to fill out parts of the, uh, of the data sheet at the end of the night. I mean, as someone who's done this, um, you're very often down there uh, at 3 a.m., 4 a.m., you've been out there for five, six hours. Sometimes you just forget. But there are three beaches we pull from. The beach is about a mile long. It's broken into three sections, the North Beach, the Central Beach, and then the South Beach. And you notice how those, those are scattered throughout the spreadsheet. That's a problem because in the homework, if you look back at the homework I'm having you look at, I want you to, what's the overall hatch rate for the North Beach? How about the South Beach? And we're also going to do that with the Central Beach as well. Uh, we'll do that together in this video, and then you can do the North and South Beaches on your own. So the problem is right now is let's, for example, try to look at the Center Beach and figure out what the overall hatch rate is. Well, the problem, as you may have already figured out, is that these are not in alphabetical order. Like the centers are all mixed in. The Souths are mixed around. I mean, if you scroll down, there's just tons and tons and tons of mixture of those three locations because this spreadsheet right here is ordered not by beach but it's ordered by location in the nursery a1 a2 a3 blah 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 b1 b2 b3 blah 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 now what's great about spreadsheets is you're able using just a couple button clicks to resort the data according to any individual column so let's take a look at how to do that in sheets what I want you to do when you do this is you're going to actually left click on the column that has the beaches in it. And what that does is, you can see right there, it highlights the entire column. Then what you want to do is you want to wander up to this menu, the data menu. Left click on it. And there's a lot of stuff in this data menu. The one you want to look at right now is actually the very first two options. It says sort sheet by column. Now it says column F, which is exactly what we want. We are in column F. That's how we want to sort. Then it asks you, do you want to sort it A to Z or Z to A? And that's just computer speak for, do you want to sort it ascending alphabetically or descending alphabetically? I want to pick that very first one. So I'm going to left click on sort sheet by column F, A to Z, boop, and there you have it. Now you may have noticed something exceptionally cool, okay? I'm gonna undo actually, and then redo that again. You see, this is the first center right here. You may have noticed that that center is tied to box A10 with 92 eggs and 87 hatchlings with a 94.6% survival rate. When I left clicked on column F and then sorted the sheet by that column. That first center is now up here. Notice that the location, eggs and hatchlings and hatch rate, all the data came along with it to the top. And that's why you, I'm gonna, I'm gonna undo it again and then redo it. That's why you wanna use this option, sort sheet, 
and not sort range. If you sort the range, don't actually do this. I'm going to show you what it looks like. If you sort the range, it only sorts that column and it doesn't grab this data and take it along. But that you, you want the data to come along because now the beach is lined up with the wrong data. So you want to make sure when you do this sort, you left click on the column, data, sort sheet by column F, A through Z, and that, that way these come with it. All right, so that's the first thing. And if you scroll down, you'll notice that all the centers are right there. And if you go far enough down, we'll eventually get to the norths. Here are the norths. Is it norths or norths? I don't know. We'll say norths because it's fun to, fun to say. And then the souths or the souths. And then at the bottom here, you'll notice that there's a bunch with the blanks. There was about yeah, a couple dozen, I guess. So what I'm going to actually do, since we can't use these data because we this is no good to us. Without knowing which beach these come from, we can't actually analyze them. I'm just going to delete them if that's okay with y'all. So if all the data is there, to get rid of it, you can left click in the top left of the cells you want to get rid of, then hold down shift, left click in the bottom right, that highlights the entire range, then right click inside the range, and then you hit delete, delete rows 463 through 485. All right, there you go. Now that we're here, in the homework, as we remembered, I'm gonna have you do the overall hatch rate for north, and the overall hatch rate for south. So to get you started, I'm gonna show you how to do the overall hatch rate for central. Now remember from our work in the lab, in order to know what the overall hatch rate is, we have to know two things. Number one, we have to know how many baby hatchlings in total were released to the ocean. And then we have to know number two, how many total eggs did we collect from that beach? You divide the live babies by the total number of eggs and that gets you an overall hatch rate. So we need to collect two pieces of information. Number one, the total number of hatchlings released. I'm gonna put, I'm just gonna type hatchlings from center beach. And I'm gonna put that right there. Uh, I spelled hatchlings wrong. Let's put an L there. Okay, and notice how it goes over the the, uh, the line here. I'm going to double click right here, and that'll make the make it uh, wide enough to capture. And then here, I'm going to go eggs from Center Beach. Woo, man! I you can tell I don't look at my fingers when I type. All right. So in this cell right here, I three, I'm going to place the number of the hatchlings, and in I four, I'm going to place the eggs, and then somewhere else, we'll do the hatch rate right here. We'll do the center beach hatch rate right here, and we'll put that division in cell I five. Okay. I'm going to show you two ways to collect these numbers. One way is a little bit, um, you have to kind of keep track of numbers uh, uh, independently of the sheet. And the other way, you could do it with formulas. So I'll show you. Hatchlings from the center beach. Okay, so what you have to do is you have to know how many total hatchlings are in the center beach. One way to do that is to left click on this first 87 and then drag all the way down until you're done with the center beach. I'm watching that F column right now until I get past, oh, I'm past it. Now I'm gonna back up until I'm on top of that 67. Now, Sheets has a fun little feature down here. Right now, it says count numbers 233. Now what that means is there are 233 cells I just highlighted. And you can tell that by looking at, I am in currently in cell 234, and the reason it's 234 is in cell one, um, it's got a title. So I actually highlighted 233 things. But if you hit this little drop arrow and you go up to sum, it'll tell you what those numbers add up to, which is 21,583. That's what I just selected in that cell. So I can wander back up to cell I and hit 21,583. Now, how many eggs? We can do the exact same thing. Or if you want, if you don't like holding the button down, you can do the exact same thing we did before, which is left click on the 92 and then scroll down until you're at the bottom of center. 
and then hold the shift key and then press the left button on your mouse again and it'll, it'll do the exact same thing. Looks like that sum is 24,411. All right, 24,411. All right, we've got what we need. Now to do the center beach hatchery, we just do equals and then we do that one. Left click, divide by, slash, that one. Press enter. And it looks like the hatch rate is approximately 88.4%. Uh, if you want to change it to a percent in sheets, you can just click on the cell, wander over to here, click that little format as percent button, boop, boop, and it's 88.42%. There you go, my friends. That is a quick way of being able to get the hatch rate for the center beach. Now you can do the exact same thing for the north and south beaches if you want to, exactly the same way. Now I'm gonna show you another way you can do it. Um, you can do it as a sum command. Instead of actually using that little box that showed up in the bottom where it added it up for you, you can get that sum a different way. That 21,583, for example, you can type equals sum left parentheses. And then you can select all of the cells that correspond to the uh, hatchlings for the center beach. Close off the parentheses, press enter, and notice it's the exact same number. It's 21,583. And you can use the exact same command here. Equals, sum, left parentheses, eggs, all the way down through the center beach end. Right parentheses, hit enter, 24,411. And notice it's still 88.42% because it has to be. It's got to be the exact same uh, uh, numbers. Okay, so that's a quick tutorial. You learned, you, you learned one new thing, maybe, and you refreshed something from the lab. The one new thing is how to sort data. The, uh, the refreshment was, how do I do an overall hatchery? Now, there's one more question I'm just going to allude to in this video. Uh, down here, the extra, extra five points question actually refers to this sheet over here. We haven't even looked at that because it's extra credit. If you want it, it's there. If you don't want it, you don't have to look at it. But this does the exact same data, but it does it by the time the eggs were collected. Not by the beach, but by the time they were collected. So 11 o'clock in the morning, uh, 6.30 in the morning, 2300, that's 11 o'clock at night. This is military time. So if you want, have at it. Have at it. It's right there waiting for you. But you don't have to by any stretch of the imagination. All right. I hope that helped. And email if it doesn't. We'll talk to you soon.